Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Moz Backup as a tool you can use in order, predictably, to take your Thunderbird and Mozilla Firefox profiles, put them in a save file, and have the ability to take those files and load them up later onto the same computer, another computer, or perhaps the same computer after you've reformatted your hard drive and installed a fresh copy of your operating system. For whatever reason that you need a backup for those profiles, this is a great tool to use it. I haven't had any issues with it. It's pretty simple to use as well. So right here, the welcoming screen is basically bringing you straight into this wizard. You can hit next here, and the next screen, it will show you backup a profile or restore a profile. So kind of predictably, you have this uh, system of creating the, the uh, saved profile file, and then you restore from that profile using the same program. So any computer that you are going to restore on, you do need to install Moz Backup. That's probably the only downside. Now, as long as you've booted into Firefox and Thunderbird at least once, when we select one and hit Next, it's going to at least have one profile here, default being naturally the default name for the profile. And uh, what we need to do is select the profile that we want to back up and browse to somewhere on our computer. For instance, your documents directory is a fine choice. So I can just go with the default name here. You'll notice as the name of the program, the version of the program, uh, what language settings we have on it, and the date. And it's saved as a .pv, uh, .pcv file, which I mean is representing Mozilla backups here. So we go ahead, we uh, select that as our safe location and file name. We hit next. And one of the last things we have to choose is whether or not we want to password protect this backup file. Uh, I would say if you think that there's any possibility that someone else may be screwing around on your computer or your file system, you're definitely going to want to do that. Uh, but for right now, I'll go ahead and skip that because this is just a dummy profile. Next, we need to choose which details we want to back up out of our Thunderbird or Mozilla Firefox profiles. So depending on what we've actually added in, maybe saved accounts or maybe, um, break. Next, we need to choose which details we want backed up out of our Mozilla Firefox and Mozilla Thunderbird profiles. You'll notice that some of these are grayed out where they're not relevant because maybe that aspect of uh, information hasn't had anything added to it inside of that program or maybe that program just doesn't support it to begin with. Um, so we can go ahead and hit next here and then it's going to create the backup file. For me, it was pretty quick here because it's basically a dummy profile, doesn't really have any information in it. But for you, it shouldn't be too much longer than a few seconds anyway. So we can go ahead and hit finish here. And now we have this profile located within wherever we stored it. For me, it's my documents. With the same file, we can go into Moz Backup once again and go through the wizard, restore a profile, select the program, and simply choose the file we want to back up from. Hit next, choose what details we want to restore. Hit next, and if you do have a current profile, note that it may and probably will overwrite some of the information. And we can go ahead and continue that, and then just like that, everything has been restored to the state that it was in with the backup file. So it's what you would expect out of a backup tool. There aren't too many like it that are specific to Mozilla Firefox and Mozilla Thunderbird. So if you use those two programs and you want to maintain your profile as you switch between computers or you switch between operating systems, I'd highly recommend using Moz Backup as a great tool to do just that. So with that said, I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider donating to my Patreon and I will see you in my next video.